Hi, this is Kathy. I'm um, going to do a little presentation for you about raised bed gardens. Um, I have some right here. This is kind of good that I'm doing this from home because I can show you what I actually work with. I have two gardens that um, are called keyhole gardens. They are raised bed, as you can see. Um, I have made them out of cinder blocks. There's a little, a little keyhole shape here, and you can walk into it and put your kitchen garbage down into the little receptacle, and that will feed the garden all year. Um, it makes plants grow like mad. It's like having new soil in here every single year. I also threw in two straw bales, one in this garden and one in this garden, and I strewed them around and topped it off just recently with a new layer of garden soil and this is going to make my garden grow like a jungle. Um, these white, I have white posts here that I can use. Um, in cool weather I throw a tarp over them and it keeps the plants warm and they grow better. In um, high summer they don't need to be covered, but what I do is I can take the tomato plants when they get really tall and I can tie the tomato cages to the, um, the supports and then they are able to stand up better against the wind. I have a little tiny garden here in the corner and this is my chive garden. I can literally pick chives here into all the way up to Thanksgiving and sometimes Christmas. And all I did here was I put down two, um, two little bags of garden soil. I slit them open and then I um, planted in there and every year I throw a little bit more dirt on there just to refresh it some. You will notice that I still have parsley left from last year. It never did die this winter, so I've still got fresh parsley from last year. Um, here's an idea that I saw somewhere. I haven't done this yet myself, but I've got the piece to do it if I want to. I have a pallet. This is, this is a small one. You can use big ones if you want to, but be careful if they are chemically treated. You don't want to have chemicals or paint on the wood when you are making a garden. What you do is you take this and you cover the open sides like this. You cover the open sides and the base with garden tarp and then put dirt in it and you can grow um, maybe some leaf, leaf plants, lettuce or salad greens in the slots or you can use a bigger open space and plant I don't know um, anything that isn't a long root you wouldn't want to put carrots in there because the roots too deep uh, you could put maybe some beets or you could put some other kind of maybe maybe green peppers they do not have a long root. Uh, you could put your herbs in there and that would contain them a little bit. Sometimes herbs get away from you. Um, here's one more thing that I have over here. I have straw bales that I used last year and they are still standing up. The strings held up pretty well. I see some in back that are kind of loose. Um, we're going to see if we can do a second season on those. I had tomato plants over by the um, fence over there and I tried to lean them towards the fence to have a little extra support. Um, these double ones here I had full of carrots and any of my co-workers will tell you they love the taste of those carrots. Now these stakes you can use for bracing up plants or what I'm going to do and what I do every year is I tie um, uh, the base 
of a white garb uh, grocery bag and I make sure that it, it, it's got like a head on it and if I cut the two handles just open them up so they don't hook on any of the leaves then you get um, what I call a garden ghost it keeps the birds away sort of kind of uh, squirrels may or may not stay away we don't know how to make them go away one more kind of uh, raised bed garden. This is kind of ugly, but I'm trying to make it a little bit better. We had a huge tree here, and when we took it down after Hurricane Ike, I asked them to leave me a three-foot stump, and I used it for a bird feeder for a while, but it's rotting. I mean, it's just really going to pieces. So I'm taking it apart bit by bit, but in the middle of it, I hacked out kind of a basin and filled it with dirt. And now I have um, creeping phlox growing on there. And hopefully that will make it look a little better until I get the whole thing down to the ground. Uh, see, it's starting to cover the sides here. So those are a few of my raised bed garden ideas. There are plenty of ways to make raised beds. If you wanted to go on Google Images, you could see all kinds. Just put in raised bed or vertical garden, and you will get thousands and thousands of ideas. There are even some kind of gardens where you can take gutters and hang them along the side of a house and use them for your leaf plants. So like you could just, if you can visualize a whole long gutter over here just hanging down and maybe two or three tiers of guttering and then you can just fill that with dirt and put it in. I've even seen uh, those, those cloth shoe uh, tarps with, fill the little shoe pouches with dirt and have things growing out of them too. So that's what I'm hoping that you can get some good ideas out of there and um, we're going to see if we can get the uh, program rescheduled for maybe January and then um, you can make sure you have enough time to get your garden set up and get some composting started so that it will work really well for you during the next planting season. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.